What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel Money Moves with Kate. I'm Kate and today we're going to talk about five websites to find foreclosed properties. If that's something that you're interested in, please stay tuned for the video. Make sure you stick around towards the end of the video. I have a bonus tip on how to find foreclosed properties you don't want to miss. Now before I get started, I kind of want to briefly talk about what a foreclosure is. A foreclosure is when a lender attempts to recover the amount owed on a defaulted loan and they pretty much take ownership of the property and they sell it. The first website I'm going to discuss is USDA.gov. Now USDA stands for US Department of Agriculture. When you go to the website, you will see a map of the United States and in each individual state, you will see specific listings of how many foreclosed properties are in that state. One of the pros to this website is that it not only lists single family homes, but also multi-units and ranches and farms. Another pro to this website is that anybody can buy a home on this website. However, you do need a real estate agent to submit your offer for the property. One of the cons to this website is that not every state has a listing. At the time of this recording, I've gone on the particular site and seen tons and tons of properties listed, but there may be two weeks down the line and I don't see any listed in my particular state. So that's sort of a con where you may go on uh, some uh, months or days and you may find a, a plethora of listings. Other months and days you find nothing, right? And not every state has a listing at the time that you search. So that can kind of be a bummer and a downside to this particular website. The next website to find foreclosed properties is foreclosure.com. Now this site is pretty cool because it's a one-stop shop for all foreclosures, but that's not all. They also provide pre-foreclosure, short sales, listings of as-is property, sheriff sales, tax liens, the list goes on. As an investor that invests nationwide, this website makes it even easier to find foreclosed properties and also allows me to find really good deals. Now, if you're a money mover, you're in luck because you have a seven day free trial in the link in the description so that you can try foreclosure.com and see for yourself how effective and efficient it is to find tons and tons of foreclosed properties in one spot. The next way to find foreclosed properties is to go directly to the bank. Bank of America and Wells Fargo both are just examples of banks that have a foreclosure center on their website that will allow you to find really good deals. Like most of these websites that I've already mentioned, you will have to have a real estate agent submit your offer. One cool thing about going directly through the bank to find these foreclosed properties is that you may be able to qualify for financing through that particular bank. Banks such as Wells Fargo will ask for a pre-approval letter if you are deciding to purchase this property, this foreclosed property, through a lender. You're going to have to have a pre-approval letter. And if you are purchasing the property with cash, um, they will ask for proof of funds in order to make an offer. Coming in next is HUD.gov that houses foreclosed properties in which the owner defaulted on an FHA loan. These properties are listed by state and some of them do qualify for a two or three K loan in which you're able to wrap the repairs of the property. Because remember, a lot of these properties are fixer uppers, but you're able to wrap the repairs of that particular um, home into your overall loan. Please keep in mind that all offers do have to go through a HUD approved broker or agent. Now it's important to note here that owner occupants do have first dibs on these properties. They are given at least 30 days before the properties are sent out to other folks who are interested in the properties, which would include investors and anybody else interested in the property. Now a true hidden gem that I didn't even know about, I've been on HUD.gov plenty of times, but I didn't realize is that there are multi-units that are aside from the map on HUD.gov, which is a game changer for me. I'll show you a screenshot of what I'm looking for and hopefully I can do a voiceover for you so you can see exactly what I click on so that you can see these multi-units. In fact, the one that is currently at the time of this recording, the one that is currently there is in California. It was an old group home that caught fire. So six bedrooms, the list goes on. I'll just show you, just hold tight. All right, everybody, um, I'm here on the main page of HUD.gov and I wanted to briefly show you how in the world did I get to the link for the multi-units because those properties are not on the main page with the single family properties. So what I do is I, um, or what I did was I scrolled all the way to the bottom and I pushed this button that says how to buy a hood home. Once you click that, you're going to be brought to this page in which I scrolled all the way to the bottom 
And this is a link that says multifamily properties for sale. After getting to this uh, website or this portion of the website here, boom. So this is kind of interesting because two days ago, this is the only property that I saw. So that kind of lets me know that they may add these properties very frequently. And this property is a former group home that's in California. It's six bedrooms. And this one is the new one that I've seen. It's in Detroit, Michigan, and it's for $676,000. And it's a 16 unit former group home, which is crazy to me. They list the uh, sale date and they also list some contact information in which you can reach out to these folks to try to either email them or call them and get more information about what's going on. Make sure you do your due diligence. So once you click on this um, link here, it'll take you to a page in which they have multiple um, pictures of the property so you can kind of see inside and kind of get a feel for what you're um, potentially uh, may bid on or purchase. Um, so yeah, these are great uh, resources to find multi-units that are not listed on the main page of HUD.gov. If this video has given you any type of value, you already know what to do. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. It allows me to get this information out to you so we can all be lifetime learners. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. The next website I'm gonna list may not be a surprise to most of you is that you can find foreclosures through Zillow. Yes, that's right, Zillow. Zillow has a list of pre foreclosures and foreclosures on their site that you can rummage through depending on the area in which you're looking for. One of the pros to using Zillow is that it's very easy to navigate. However, one of the cons to using Zillow is that I don't have all the pre foreclosures or foreclosures in one spot. As promised, the bonus information or tip to find foreclosed properties is to go through public records. Throughout the foreclosure process, there are often various legal notices that need to be filed with the county recorder's office. Visit your county's office to search for a notice of default or a notice of sale. Two pros to this is that it's free and you'll be able to get first dibs on properties before they even hit the foreclosure database. One of the cons to this is that you do have to do the work and actually go down to the county in order to get this information. But that also goes back to a pro because it creates a barrier of entry. Not many people want to go downtown, go to the county um, county recorder's office, park the car, pay for park. It's a, it's a lot. So if you're able to do that and you want to get these deals when nobody else is trying to get the deals, I would advise to try to do this and seek these notice of defaults or notice of sales. If you made it this far, I want you to do me a huge favor and I want you in the comments to type, I made it. I made it. In the comments, type, I made it. So I know that you made it this far and I truly appreciate you. That's the end of my video. Thank you so, so very much for making it to this point. Until next time, guys, you stay blessed. Peace.